We're going to get started. Welcome, welcome. Uh, today we are talking all about travel and vacation, and hopefully, as I talk about this, you have something wonderful on the horizon that you are thinking about for this summer, um, assuming that you live in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, but uh, I have a few things to look forward to myself, and um, uh, like I said, there are some tricks, tips, tricks and hacks type thing, just little things that will help to make things go um, more smoothly. I will be uh, taking questions and comments at the end about anything having to do with decluttering, organizing, whatever, uh, this topic or otherwise. So um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to put them in the chat and I will answer them at the end. I, am, I try very hard to keep this to about a half hour or less. So I usually talk for maybe 15 minutes or so and then take questions. So anywho, so today, um, the three things that I want to tell you about. First is you're going to learn how to prepare for your trips with ease. You're going to uh, how to simple things that you can do while you're on your trip to help ease back into re-entry. And then the post-vacation routines that aid in quickly reestablishing order in your home. So when I say preparation is key to uh, getting ready for a trip, you're probably going to say, well, that's pretty obvious, Heather, right? But it is nevertheless true. <laughs> um, and there are some things that apply to no matter what kind of vacation or trip you are going on. Um, the first thing is, and it's going to sound funny, is to take time to pick up or tidy your house you know, after you've packed and gotten all your stuff together, plan in a little bit of time just to kind of get things away. Because it's very easy when you're trying to pick out outfits and stuff like that and whatever, you're running around, you're scurrying around, where's my charger, blah, 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 to kind of leave things in an upheaval. And that is... It might not bother you while you're away, but when you when you know you're coming back to it or you walk into it, it can be very deflating. Coming home from vacation can sometimes be deflating and it just adds to it. So I would encourage you to take the time to just um, try and do a little bit of picking up um, after, like I said, after you've packed. Um, the second thing, and once again, it, it sounds obvious, but... Um, but make sure two to three days before you go, before you're going to pack. Now, some people start packing early, but I tend to pack right before I go. But if two to three days before I'm going to pack, I actually do my laundry, all of it, if you can. OK, that makes it so easy to pack. It's just a matter of finding things then. It's not a matter of like, oh my goodness, my only pair of whatevers are dirty and I don't have enough shorts to bring or blah, 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 blah. So taking the time to do the laundry two to three days before is super helpful. The next one, um, don't overpack. <laughs> don't overpack. Um, just like, you know, I was thinking about this. It's just like when you're making dinners, it's much easier if you've taken the time to just do a little bit of meal planning ahead of time. So take the time to think about what you are going to be doing on your trip. Like, and I, I, you can say, well, I'm going to do the, like, how many nights are you going to go out to dinner? How many nights do you need to get something fancy? You know, how many times are you, do you, are you think you'll go swimming once or twice, or are you swimming every day? So you, you really need a bunch of suits and things like that. You know, whether you're going swimming, hiking, clubbing, eating out at a fancy place, working out, whatever it is. I mean, even working out, how much workout clothes do you need to bring? that type of thing. Really try and th just think through your trip and then pack accordingly. And if you want to say you think you'll go out to eat twice fancy times, if you want to bring a third outfit, that's no big deal. But um, oftentimes we tend to put in, you know, those just in case items, like we talk about with our homes, how those just in case things and, you know, end up we end up with a ton of clutter. The same thing can be true of your suitcase. So um, really, and I would also say, try some things on. Because nothing worse than getting someplace and realizing that, oh, this fit me 10 pounds ago in one direction or the other. 
Okay. So, and the other thing that can help too is if you try it on, you realize what accessories you need to go with things and such like that. Um, I took a trip to Nashville. I went to a conference in March and I had just, um, did this outfit formula thing, which is really cool, you know, and what, but I brought so many clothes, it was ridiculous. And the worst part of it was, is it left me with a lot of indecision. So before I get ready in the morning, I'm trying on three and four outfits, which is, I can't even tell you how out of character that is for me. Um, so I just, it would encourage you to try things on at home, make some decisions, figure out what you're going to do and pack accordingly. You will save yourself time on both ends of, of the process. And then as far as accessories go, try and figure out, you know, what, like if you're getting dressed up, try and pick outfits where you could wear the same shoes, <laughs> the same pair of shoes, or the jewelry would work for both of them, or, um, you know, the purse would work for both of them, that type of thing, just to cut down on the quantity of stuff that you are bringing with you. So, so far we have, you know, tidying up, you know, after you pack, uh, making sure your laundry is done two to three days ahead of time so that it makes it easy to pack and not overpacking, really think it through. Now, if you want to really up level uh, your pre-planning, um, you can make yourself a master packing list. Um, it, it, it could just be things in general so that it gives you something to think about. You might look and see bathing suit and go, I'm not going swimming. But there's nothing worse than getting to the hotel someplace, wanting to go swimming and realize you didn't pack your suit. It's not exactly something that you can just walk down to. I guess you could if you were in the Caribbean or something like that, but you can't just go down to the little hotel store and buy yourself a bathing suit most of the time. And you're probably not going to be very happy with it if you could. So really, you know, if you want to really up level it, you could make yourself out a list, keep it on your phone so that you can check it out um, when you're packing and things like that. So now once you're on your trip, uh, I like to, I like to pack one or two of those kitchen garbage bags, you know, the, in, at least in the U S they tend to be white. They are a great place to put your dirty clothes. Uh, just to keep things separate, especially if you're going to be living out of your suitcase. And even if you're not, just if you're in a hotel room and you put everything away, just you can stick it on the bottom of your uh, closet and, you know, just keep putting the dirty clothes in there. And that is helpful. If you happen to be at a place where like I go um, up to Vermont to my parents' summer home and um, they have a washer and dryer there. I, tr I have over the years more and more tried to just do a load or two of laundry so that I'm coming back with clean clothes. That is something that is very helpful. Obviously, I don't suggest doing that if you're in a hotel. I think that that would be a waste of time for your vacation. But, you know, at my parents, it's no big deal. It doesn't stop us from doing any going down to the lake or anything like that and do it in those moments in between. And as far as your... Um, your dirty clothes and such. If, if you have multiple suitcases, say there's more than one person with you and whatever, like say when my husband and I go away, we will oftentimes take one of the suitcases and fill that with the dirty. And then the other one with as much of the clean and the toiletries and that kind of stuff. And then if it overflows, we take that, you know, that garbage bag that we had for the dirty clothes and put it in with the other. It just keeps it separate. It keeps you from getting home and then take, having to take everything out of your bag and wash everything again. You know, why should you have to rewash clean things? Then finally, when you get home, um, it's interesting. I don't know if you're familiar with love languages, my husband's, one of my husband's love languages is acts of service. So he likes it when I get up off my butt <laughs> and help him with things and, and do things. And for many years, we would get home from a trip and I would get, I'd get involved with the mail, what came in the mail, what were the packages? I, you know what I'm saying? Like all these other things. So he likes to come home and unpack. So when I started doing this and getting off my butt and helping him, um, I discovered the magic of actually dealing with your stuff once you get home right away. Because if you don't do it 
right away. In general, it tends to spread out. And then all of a sudden, a week or more later, you still have a suitcase sitting around that has clothes in it and you can't find what you're looking for and all of that. So um, I would encourage you when, you know, if you're in the car, just to just first step, just bring everything in, just bring it all in. Okay. And because you're coming home to your tidier home, <laughs> you're going to want to take care of it, right? You're going to want, you're more likely to want to take care of it, I should say. Um, and then take, go take those dirty clothes, take them down to the, um, uh, to the, if you have a washer and dryer in your home, just go start a load of laundry. Just don't take that that uh, suitcase and put it, you know, up in your bedroom, just take it right to wherever the washer and dryer is and get it started. And then of course, to, um, like I said, don't let the mail and stuff distract you and all of that. And then unpack, just take the time to unpack. And really, in most cases, it's not going to take you much more than half hour, 45 minutes. Okay, and you are really saving yourself um, Okay, there's, there's a book called Eat That Frog. And the idea is that to do the thing that you don't want to do the most first, because then everything else will seem easier. But the other side of that coin is when you push it off. So say you put that on your list and you keep moving it over day after day after day, that frog grows and grows and grows because in your mind, it's become a much bigger deal. Uh, it can be like dinner dishes that you, you know, dishes, putting off doing dishes. And, you, you know, you've made it into your mind that it's going to take you two hours to do something that's going to take you, a half, you know, 20 minutes type of a thing. So I would say just eat that frog. Don't let it grow. Don't let it get bigger. Just take the stuff and put it away. Um, another um, sort of like a side note to this is that we have discovered that, say, we're, you know, my husband's off for the week and, um, you know, we're heading away on a Friday night, right? And we oftentimes used to come home, say on that Sunday night, right before going to work, having to go to work or starting our schedules the next day. We have found it helpful to actually come back that one day earlier so that we have that day to sort of um, reacclimate ourselves take, you know, take care of anything, you know, really get ourselves back to like, you know, even status quo before everything begins. I know for people who are, you know, huge vacationers and stuff like that, if they're going to exotic places and all that, the temptation can be to squeeze every little minute out of it. But I, I would, I would say, I would encourage you to, um, uh, to think about at the very least, maybe coming home Sunday morning, and not Sunday night, that type of a thing, just to make it your re-entry easier. So I've given you a lot to think about um, and, and, and such in a, in a quick bit of time there. Um, I wonder if you have any questions for me, uh, any comments um, um, or any tips that you have. That I you have share? tips. Um, I, I'm a master traveler Ooh. i used to live out of a suitcase pretty much every week for 10 15 20 years so i've learned a lot about all the things you you just mentioned and i'd like to give a few additional tips sure absolutely i certainly would, would say that some of the key ones that you mentioned the the master list um once you've got that master list what i tended to do is there would be a section which is like always has to come with me in my case laptop charges my hygiene uh you know my shampoo uh mm -hmm. soap whatever those things wherever i'm going whether at holiday or corporate that would always need to be there okay so so i already know da, 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 tick off mm -hmm. the list and, and i know that's my section it doesn't change that's all coming with me my hair dryer whatever it is right okay. And then I would do, I, I'm, I'm, I'm anal enough to, to make the, the, the full list of what I'm going to wear each day, depending on what I'm doing with a few extras because the weather or, oh, I spilled something on the white top, <laughs> Ew, whatever, yeah. you know, stuff happens. So fine. Right. However, I want to add a couple of things to, to your wonderful tips. The washing bag I'd always do, but one thing I'd make sure is that 
that washing bag, the bag with the dirty stuff is on top. It's the last thing that goes into my suitcase, which means that when I come home, it's the first thing I can whip out. So when, even great. when I get home late, I can still put that in the washing straight away overnight while I go to bed if I don't happen to have the energy to unpack. That washing, it's out, it's in, it's done, right? Yeah, that's great. Secondly, on the way out there, I make sure that if I can... I will have the initial first things I need, like uh, a change of underwear and a few uh, cosmetic things in my hand luggage if I can, because it's not the first time that my luggage has disappeared. <laughs> and then you're there and you're stuck and you haven't even got a toothbrush, okay? Yeah. So if possible, I do that. Second choice would be, that would be on top of my suitcase, what I need to go to bed when I arrive. My, my PJs, my initial you know, toothbrush, those basic things, Mm -hmm. to get me there so I don't have to go around a suitcase straight away to find those things yeah uh like if that. I come from a warm place a, a top with short sleeves right on top of the suitcase that's it I'm changed I'm ready right Th those kind of things so those are just a few initial things I wanted to throw in which have really helped me and also to help me prepare coming back I do most of my shopping online so what I've been known to do is not to have to depend on what's in the fridge while I come home, even if my house is in a good place. I have probably got my delivery set up. Oh, I love that one. So that either that day or the next morning, it's already set up, breakfast is arriving or whatever I, I need, the basics for the fridge, it's set up. I don't have to worry about it, done. Yeah, yeah. There you go. One thing that we used to do when we did long road trips with my kids is, and we were stopping along the way, is we would make separate bags for like, we're overnighting yeah. there. So all, we're or like the, all the PJs, exactly. all the toiletry, all that, so that we were just, we didn't have to bring in, you know, I had four kids and me, you know, and we all yeah. had a bag. Everybody didn't have to bring their bag in, whatever. We just yeah. had it to, you know, we knew to bring that one bag in exactly and the other thing which i forgot to mention is you said about you know the things you can prepare beforehand if you do that laundry beforehand put that stuff aside already so you know you know don't wear it again then you know just put it there so already you're packing gradually it's right. already there in little piles right um for um your your shampoos and things similarly a couple of days beforehand uh, transfer some stuff into smaller containers so again that's already ready you don't have yeah. to worry about that I mean I used to have doubles of everything yeah. because I was traveling so much fine yeah, I do you, I do I honestly right. I do doubles too but if you're occasionally traveling yeah. just even part of your getting ready routine um get those little you know smaller bottles so you don't have to take a big bottle transfer some shampoo in there up done whatever yeah. it is right Th yeah like i have a things. second toothbrush that i just leave in there i leave i leave the other I, you know, extra nail clippers things like that 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 are inexpensive things extra charges and things yeah. like that yep. i just used to have a, a, a look because the tech these days that you need charges and well, wires if i can get ridiculous, this to come over right? here i'll show you i have one of these blocks and i use it at home for my up in my bedroom i have a little basket it sits in i use hearing aids so i have my hearing aid thing set to go so then because it used to be i always forgot some charges exactly. because they, they're different they're all different right and so now i just and i keep a ziploc bag in my dresser underneath yeah. you know right right there where it is and then when i'm ready to do i unplug it take the whole mess of stuff that's put it. it in the ziploc bag and it goes it has and that even if you made, don't that and even if you don't do that ticket. if it's on that master list are those are the basics yeah. like as you say your hearing aids my charger for my phone my different charger yeah. for my tablet different yeah. charger for my laptop whatever it is yes. Put it on your master list and then you just tick it off. I even go like red means it's, it's in. If it's still black, it means it's not done. Red, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's done. Or it's on the bed next to the suitcase. I know it's there. It's ready. It's ready. And the more I do that, the more I can relax because I'm not yeah. worried about scurrying around. So I, I already go yeah. on holiday more relaxed rather than, oh, my God, I can't find a chair. Where's exactly. my passport? What did, I, you know? what did I forget? What did I forget? Um, I also, another thing about thinking about like relaxing is, 
as I'm going through and I'm packing, anything I think of, I keep a pen and pencil there or you know, a pa paper and pen there right. and just jot it down. And then I also put one on my nightstand at night so that like, yeah. you know, you're laying there, you're trying to fall asleep, you know, your flights in like six hours, <laughs> seven hours, you know, and you're only going to, and so I put it next to there so that if I think about it, I can write it down because yeah. otherwise I'm all night trying to remind myself yeah. I can't sleep. And the other thing to help relax around that is that unless you're going to outer Mongolia, <laughs> there's probably a shop where you're going. Yes. So Unless it's like something like yeah. your hearing aids or your glasses or something or your medication or medications. Yep, exactly. Those are, you yep. know, your passport right. there are a few key things. But other than that, highly likely you'll be able to find a toothbrush. You'll be able to find a charging cable. So yeah. even if you've forgotten, don't panic. Don't let it right. spoil your holiday. Yes. There's probably a shop, as I say, unless you're going you know, out to Mongolia, say so just well, that's yeah. right. that's exactly right. That's exactly <laughs> right. Um, yeah, that's what I usually say. As long as I have my meds, and like you said, even chargers can be bought. Um, it's just you know, things like like hearing aids, medications, all those kinds of things, uh, that would be your glasses would be a pain. Um, yeah, other than that, pretty much anything can be purchased, it need be or made, do or you can make do. Yeah, and your bathing suit, you should have your bathing suit. <laughs> it's hard to find a bathing suit that you like not for right? me personally i've given up on that but yeah you, I know <laughs> what you mean. depends where you're going <laughs> okay any other questions i know uh carolyn said no questions just listening thanks barb did you have any questions no pressure <laughs> no pressure i just don't want to cut anybody off Okay, um, in the meantime, um, several of you who are on here already, already work with me, but, um, and I appreciate you coming on. I, I love, I love, love, love you all. Um, but anyone who is interested in learning more about working with me, um, if you are on this call, you have my email address, just hit reply. If you wanna find out what it looks like to work with me one-on-one -on -one or in my, uh, in my group program, um, I'm more than happy to, uh, my motto is credit cards, medication, and passport is all I have to have. I think that that is awesome. Exactly. Passport is another good one to remember or whatever credentials you need in order to go. Exactly. Exactly. And credit cards now are so much easier than they used to be. We don't usually have to like let our credit card company know that we're going to, to other places. There, yeah. it's, it's much better. And, so and with passport. <laughs> despite being a master traveler for so many years and it lives in in one place and it and it's actually in my handbag it's it actually it's, it's with me all the time it, right it, it it doesn't go anywhere else however i did miss one trip because it was not where it should be oh and i spent out and i missed my 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 flight because i yes. literally and then you start panicking because you're like it's always here yeah yeah, so definitely that would be another changed, tip. I've Don't wait handbags. and look for those. The season have changed. I changed day. handbags, but I haven't yeah. passed over the the passport. Yeah, and you know, at least here in the U.S. too, they're um, they're upgrading what we need in order to travel even within the country. So just to be aware of that. That I don't know whether it's I think it's maybe later this year. Uh, that uh, they're going to put in, or next year they're putting into enhanced licenses and things like that, where we, um, so that you need to, or you can use your passport. Um, so that is something to be aware of and consider as well. So like I said, if you want more, if you don't want to know what it, where it means to work with me and uh, just to get a little bit more information, please feel free to reach out. If you're watching this on Facebook or on the, re on the replay, just shoot me a message and through Instagram or Facebook or whatever. And I could be happy just to let you know what that looks like and to see whether or not we are a good fit. So I will be sending out um, a link uh, to the replay of this, if you want to watch it again, or if it's someone you would like to share it with. So anyway, any more questions before we wrap up? We're almost at the half hour mark. We're all good. Okie doke. Have a great night, ladies, and uh, love you. Bye.